Hey, what's up, it's Chanel. Welcome to a little special collection update on Vital, Vital, Vluke. And today, this goes out to Pat Hopkins, fucking Infernal Hales, Demi Lick, The Echo, 1992 demo tape. Fuck yes! So stoked. This is one of the better bootleg cassettes I have ever fucking received. Um, this is originally released on Grinder Productions. It has nothing to do with the um, app, the phone app, you know, where you meet up with um, other dudes that are in the dudes. But um, yeah, Demi Lick in their demo days is some of my favorite fucking death metal ever. And I'm not just saying that, I am being dead fucking serious. I really, really wish that, like, the Crypt... Well, it already happened. I mean, their 20th anniversary, they had the fucking comp come out with all the demo stuff. It was 29 tracks of pure Finnish death metal gold. And I have been searching for a copy for years now, it seems, with no avail. Same goes for the full length. I feel like, you know, when I do find it, it's like a CD copy for like fucking $40. Like, no. No, I'm not paying $40 for a CD. And today's episode is sponsored by Soda. Don't drink it. It's fucking bad for you. Okay? But, you want to know what's good for you? Fucking death metal. And Demi Lick the Echo, wow. Seriously, fucking wow. I mean, first off, whoever put this together, you did a good job. For a bootleg, hell yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a bummer that the band does not get this money, but you know what? How else am I going to get a copy of this fucking demo tape unless I fucking hunt down the CD comp version or, you know, I would love to get the LP version. To be fucking realistic, like, I would rather have an LP of the full length and the fucking comp, but whatever, I would take either or at this point in time. I've been looking for so goddamn long that, you know, I'm willing to, I'm about to pay somebody to go on Discogs and snag it for me. Same thing with, like, eBay, maybe even, like, I'm just getting to that point where. I'm running out of, like, options when it comes to just regular searching. I don't think I'm going to find it either or. But, you know, the fact that my buddy Pat found the fucking Echo in, like, ten minutes. Like, and it was funny, too, because the day he found this, like, I, I, I sometimes, like, if I'm stuck in my house, like, my knee was really fucked up this one day. And uh, it was just killing me. So I, I sat at home and I just went on uh, the Chromebook that Garth gave me and I just was like, you know what, I'm in the mood to just listen to some fucking pre-grave tunes. So, you know, I just typed in Corpse Demo Death Metal and boom, right there. Probably my favorite thing about the future and, you know, all this, like, new technology and stuff, like, everything's a phone, it's fucking crazy, like, hello, 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 it's fucking sick, like, who knows, this candle could be, like, a fucking camera, I don't know, but one of the sick things is, like, you can, like, pretty much use YouTube as, like, a time machine sonically, if you know what you're looking for. But there's certain YouTube channels that are great. I might post some below, but, like, they just post, like, you know, very, you know, obscure, hard as fuck to find, like, death metal demos. And I am, I'm not going to act like I know how hard it is to find a copy of this, like, in the real world, you know. Like, if I was to myself go searching like to not find a bootleg like let's say i wanted an actual like thx fucking copy of this i mean but the thing is i don't know if this grind grinder productions company like 
you know, put out this demo themselves and just, you know, copied the exact layout of the original. Because this is the layout of the original, the Echo demo. It's just a plain blank, you know, it has the title, it says the Echo. Everything's the same, and you get a Heavy Duty J card, which is like... A lot more heavy duty, honestly, than like a lot of, you know, real bands, like, tapes and shit. Like, it's really, really heavy duty paper. And, uh, you actually get the info and stuff. But the thing that, like, made me think, I was like, this is either, like, some kind of reissue of the demo or it's just a bootleg, was because none of the font was running or faded or anything. That's a fresh ass font right there. Like, you know, it, it's not warped by time or anything like that. So, that's always good because this sounds fucking great. And it's on a pro tape. Again, just unlabeled, which is, I just think it's sick, unlabeled and shit. And I don't even know if there's a fucking B side to it. Like, I think the whole thing just plays right through. It's just so fucking sick, and you know, when I when I got to finally see these legends live, somebody yelled one of the fucking funniest, but like, true statements I've ever heard. And uh, if you know Demi Lick, you'll get the joke. But um, they just yelled, "Play the one with parentheses." If you know Demi Lick, you know that they love their um, parentheses. As you can see on the demo, I mean, there's only a couple tracks of parentheses on here. Out of the five, there's two, so it's not too bad. But, like, the 16th Tooth Son of 14, four regional dimensions still unnamed. Like, fuck yes. Like, if you went on to see Demi Lick on their latest tour with Blood Incantation, fucking artificial brain and whoever your regional openers were we had fucking Scorch which I love Scorch to begin with but all those bands you know they have like a Demi Lick influence to their sound like especially bands like Nucleus who I know opened up the uh, Chicago show they straight up you know ride the uh, I, the Demi Ghoul train you know when you mix Demi Lick with Time Ghoul, you get Demi Ghoul. And Demi Ghoul worship is awesome. I mean, like, Blood Incantation does it, but at this point, they're, like, doing their own thing, like, with, like, the Lost Power Plant, the, the Lost Power Plant at Giza, I think it is. I'm pretty sure that's what the track's called, the new song. It has, like, these Nile parts and, like, these Middle Eastern fucking, like, riffs and just insane guitar shredding the new blood incantation material somebody was like asking me like do you think they're gonna one up star spawn i don't know but like i know their new material kicks fucking ass like seriously hopefully it ends up on like a seven inch or a split but um yeah demi like the echo if you're into like old school death metal demos this is honestly one of the better produced and just better sounding ones. Like, everything about it sounds fucking great, and I cannot recommend it enough. Like, if you're a fan of Demi Lick, and you're having a hard time finding, you know, the full length and the comp, you might be better off just, like, searching on eBay and getting a bootleg of, like, the demo. Like, I know... I'm not the biggest fan of bootlegs and whatnot, but like when it comes to stuff like this, it's kind of the only way you're gonna get it. Unless you know you really like hunt down somebody from the Finnish death metal scene back in 1992 and they somehow did not wear this tape in the fucking dust. Which I highly doubt because it kicks so much fucking ass. Like, I'm already on my third time listening to it. So like yeah, it fucking rules. I love Demi Lick. I love the Echo. 1992 demo. Great year for death metal. 91, 92. Fuck yeah. Things started getting a little weird around like 95 for death metal. When the major labels started, you know, dropping bands. 
scenes in. It was a fucking shit show. But that's a tale for a different day. But right here, you get five tracks of one of Death Metal's most legendary and most outside of the fucking realms of mortal men when it comes to playing extreme music, and that is Finland's Demilik, the Echo Demo 1992. Just great fucking A, 10 out of 10, fucking pure old school death metal done the right way, slimy, heavy, and fucking riddled with Dungeons and Dragons terminology, and that's always good shit. So, don't get lost in the Veil of Shadows. Listen to some Demi Lick the Echo and let it guide your way. And yeah, hails to Pat Hopkins for always being the fucking man, being supportive and whatnot. Fuck yeah. And thank you guys for being supportive too. Watching this channel and all that. I know some bad things were said on uh, Death Metal Dads. Like, I'm supporting your guys' music and stuff. Like,. Sorry, I don't know your names, and I don't know all your side projects. I'm not a fucking encyclopedia. I don't do research before my videos, so sorry if I mispronounce anything or hurt someone's feelings for some unknown reason who I don't know will not stop fucking with me. Like, dude, I don't know what I even did to make you mad to begin with, but, like, doing that was just a kind of grimy, like, 14-year-old move, but thanks for the free publicity, man. I really appreciate it, but, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, as always. You guys fucking rule. Hells. Yeah.